Thank you for listening to the Tatnus Podcast on the Tatnus Co. Network. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. A Mercedes kind of sentiment. Luxury and trust in me to honor the free we all should be in. See my sons out burst into yin and yang, right? And that's me and you. I always said that I'd never get involved with doing shows that are divisive in any way or, you know, shit like that because. I'm here for entertainment purposes, man. I'm not here to fucking stir the pot, piss people off, or whatever. But there's something I feel strongly about, and this is one of those things, I, like I said, I'll never touch on stuff that's trending and things like that because I think it's cheap, and it's easy fucking publicity, and easy listeners fucking gained. But let's be real, I have, a hundred, I have hundreds of thousands of fucking listeners. I don't need to fucking resort to cheap shit. This is just a subject that I need to address because it's fucking insanity. It's driving me to a point where I need to speak up. Black lives matter. Period. That's it. There's no fucking what if or but or whatever. And for those of you that will argue all lives matter, let me explain to you the point you're fucking missing here. Because maybe you're just not getting it. Let's be clear. Let me put it to you like this. All people's homes matter. But you aim the water and the hoses at the ones that are currently burning. You don't go three blocks away and spray the other homes that are too privileged to be on fire just so they don't feel left out and less important. Don't forget your privilege. So let me explain this to you very clearly. If you fucking think that this is about you being white and that you're not being included, your fucking privilege is showing. And it's disgusting. Period. End of discussion on that. And the thing is, there's so many fucking people that think that white privilege is not even a thing. They think it's a fabrication. I can walk down the fucking street when a cop car passes by me, I don't even give it a second fucking look or thought. That's white fucking privilege. End of fucking discussion. If you don't know what that's like, then you have white privilege and you're too fucking sheltered to even realize it. I grew up in a place, as everyone knows, I when I went to high school, I was one of two white people in every class, and I got along with fucking everybody that was cool with me. And then there's times where I'll be hanging out with some people, a cop will pull up to fucking check your ID, just to see who you are, see if there's a record on you, they're bored, whatever. And do you think I didn't notice how I was treated much fucking differently than all my black friends? Do you fucking think that that went beyond me? Like, I didn't see it? How come I'm not being talked to with hostility or suspicion? Why is that? Because I'm fucking white. Period. There's no other excuse. There's no other reason it's because I'm fucking white. It's profiling at its fucking worst And anyone that fucking has a problem with what I'm saying, feel free to stop listening to me. Stop listening to my show. Because I don't like racist scumbags. I am not fucking going to be a part of the problem by not acknowledging that I have white privilege based on the fucking color of my skin. That's it. It exists. Whether you like it or not, it's an unflattering fucking truth. But the worst form of white privilege is to be fucking white, see this shit... Claim that you're not racist at all. You know what really grabs me, man? This is what fucking really irks me. Is these people that... First of all, it's a red flag when you meet a black person and you're white. And the first thing that you fucking go out of your way to do is try to like slide in the conversation how many black friends you have. Mm. That is a red fucking flag right there. And if you're going to be that guy that fucking has to make sure they know how many black friends you have so you don't come across racist but then stay neutral in situations like this to stay out of it and not speak up, you're a fucking racist just to a different degree. You're a coward. And as far as I'm concerned, you're basking in your white fucking privilege because you feel like it's not your hill to die on. It should be everyone's fucking hill to die on. Did you see the video, Blue, uh, that I was telling you about earlier? The three generations of black dudes... Um, I didn't, but I remember you telling me about it. And the, the, the one in the middle, in his 30s, was telling this young black youth, this is not the way. And the, the older guy here and myself, 
Our generation failed to find a, a better way to make things change. And here's this rioting going on and all this other shit, all the violence. And he said, this ain't the way. It never worked. For hundreds of years, this did not work. So I'm challenging you and your generation, your younger generation, to, to find a way that does work. And I think that's a beautiful sentiment. Mm-hmm. There's only one problem I have with it. What's that? The fact that they feel and are fucking made to feel like that is all their responsibility. That that's all their fight. If you're white and you're not racist, then it's your fucking responsibility too to speak up and help find a better fucking way. Absolutely. You are not exempt because of your fucking skin color. Period. End of fucking story. If you aren't racist, then speak up. I know some people that came to me that, you know, I, when I addressed this and I said I was going to talk about this, there were some people that came to me that said, as a black person, to see that you are going out of your way, being not only white, but successful having a platform like you do to reach so many people for you to take time away from your documentary that's about you to speak up about something that has nothing to do with you as a person is amazing and it's helpful let's be clear on this i i know fucking well i'm not exactly going to change the world here i'm aware of that but speaking up is a lot better than fucking sitting back saying well i'm white this isn't my issue It is my fucking issue because I'm a human being. And I don't tolerate fucking racism. So if you're fucking racist, don't listen to my fucking show. If you're on my friends list on social media and you're fucking racist and have a problem with what I say, I've already made that clear, delete me. The only good thing about racist trash is it takes itself out. Other than that, fucking worthless. And I won't stand for it. I want no association with racist pieces of shit. And I don't care what degree you're racist. If you're fucking someone that likes to convince people you're not racist because you don't want a problem with anybody. But situations like this happen and you think because you're white you don't need to fucking step in and speak up and do what's right. And advocate for those that aren't obviously being heard. Then you're fucking racist to some level as well. And I don't want anything to do with you neither. I don't give a fuck if I lose sponsorship. If I lose fucking opportunities, I don't give a shit if my career ends in an instant because motherfuckers don't like what I have to say. I'm doing what's right and I'm speaking up about something that I feel passionate about and so be it. I will fucking slip into obscurity never to be heard from again if it means that I did the right fucking thing if I can make a difference somehow. I think as white people, we have a lot of fucking power to speak up and say, we won't tolerate this shit anymore. But because it's not happening to us, so many just turn a blind eye. You know, somebody fucking... This is what really pisses me the fuck off, okay? White people, you can do better. Why is it that we accept as a fact that if a black person... If a person commits a crime... And they just so happen to be black. Then it is what it is. We just view it as, well, black people doing what they do, right? It's fine. No problem there, apparently. However, when a white cop takes a black man's life for no fucking reason, y'all white people fucking want to say, well, I mean, just because the cop happened to be white doesn't mean all cops and all white people are fucking racist pieces of shit. No, you don't get to fucking do that. You don't get to create that double standard where when the culprit is black, that all fucking black people brought this on themselves. But when a white cop is a piece of shit and abuses his authority, well, not all white people are fucking like that. Not all white cops are like that. Fuck you. You're a fucking racist piece of shit in disguise. So if you believe that shit, don't fucking have anything to do with me anymore. You got something to add to this? Um, I just think it's absolutely sickening the um, degree we've gone backwards in society. It's it's mortifying. I mean, look at like the civil rights movement with uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, what they went through, and it seems like history's repeating itself. And we're taking like we take in world the world we take one step forward, we take twenty back. Now here's the problem I have with that statement. 
In order for things to go backwards, they had to progress in the fucking first place. And I'm not convinced that anything ever actually changed. Yes, slavery stopped, but to what level? To what degree? It didn't, really. We just got more subtle about it. It's unfortunate that it's always, always, racism has always been there. And like you said, we've people have hidden it better, been more subtle about it. It's disgusting. I am sickened by what is happening in the world, and it is so wrong. And that we, you know, like you say, white people are just, you know, lift, raising our hands up going, oh, it's not my issue, you know, it is what it is. The fact that motherfuckers will say because they feel that they aren't racist, it's not something they need to get involved in because it doesn't concern them, is fucking racist in and of itself. It's wrong. It's irresponsible. It's fucking cowardly. And you are every bit as big as part of the problem. If you're not going to hold someone accountable for their bullshit and their racism, then you're just as fucking racist as they are. At least they're showing it. They're showing their true colors. You're hiding it. And this is why fucking racism hasn't exactly changed in hundreds of years. It's just gotten more subtle. It's just not so open in most cases anymore. People have accepted the times have changed and we can't just go and be fucking blatantly racist anymore. So motherfuckers that feel that way just try to hide it a little better. Try to conceal it. You know what I'm saying? And that's Mm. fucking not change at all. And it's not acceptable. No, not at all. So I'm calling out, as a white person, I am calling out white people. If you really fucking give a shit like you claim you do, speak up. Like I said, I know I'm not changing the fucking world here. I, I'm aware of that. Me speaking up, using my platform to speak up is not exactly going to end racism today. But if all of us that feel this way speak up as white people, put your fucking white privilege to some good use for once and not being selfish and stand up for people that need the help. This will always be a color thing if there's not more white people standing on the front lines with the victims and saying, we're not going to tolerate this shit anymore. This isn't just a color issue anymore. This is now a person issue. As decent human beings, we're not going to fucking stand for this shit, this corruption anymore. Motherfuckers that like to say they don't see color that turn a blind eye when things like this happen rather than speak up and fucking look for justice it's disgusting Mm -hmm. and then you get these ignorant comments about all this fucking rioting and shit for one guy's life as if his life didn't fucking matter first of all let's be clear this is not about just one guy's life this is hundreds of years of frustration because nothing they do gets through to fucking the racist pieces of shit and I am so fucking sick to death I can only imagine how they feel You can't leave your home if you're not white without fearing when you see a cop that's supposed to be there to protect you. You feel like that might be your last day on this earth just because they may be bored or have an agenda. And you know that they're going to walk. And then you look at this so-called judicial system. What a crock of shit. Arrest the motherfucker to make it look good, but we know the courts are going to fail the black community yet again. As they always fucking do. It's all a big production. It's a fucking Broadway production. To make it look good, it's all an act. To make it look like they're doing something to, to bring justice, just to fucking appease the people that are upset. And, you know, I just want to add to that. I have a fucking problem with that. That they don't mean what they're doing. They're just doing it like, oh, for a show. Like, oh, if we do this, maybe that'll pacify them. No. That's exactly what I just said. It's like... You're putting cuffs on somebody, and let's be clear, there's a big difference between being charged with something and being convicted. I could put cuffs on somebody as a cop. If I was a cop, I could arrest fucking anybody and charge them with whatever the fuck I want. That doesn't mean they're going to do time. That doesn't mean that they're actually going to fucking see the inside of a cell. And even if this piece of shit cop fucking does do time... We both know he's not going into general population where he's not going to be safe and protected. He's going to have his own cushy fucking cell and special treatment. Mm -hmm. He's going to be rewarded for taking a man's life. And I'm fucking disgusted. I have to agree. Like, it's sickening. Even though it's like, I feel like, you know, if he does go, which I believe he should, like, regardless. But who knows, like you said, because of the agenda. 
He should be thrown in with the general population and let the problem sort itself out. Let justice really take its hands. And I don't like to be divisive. I've already said that. Mm -hmm. But if you think this is virtue signaling to make myself look good, go fuck yourself. Because you don't know shit about me. Nor do you know where I come from. And I assure you, if you fucking stepped into the fucking places that I've lived, you would know. When I say I don't fucking see color, it's not some typical fucking white person bullshit to say. It's literally, if you're cool with me, I'm cool with you, and I don't give a motherfuck. You know, you you fucking want to racial profile, motherfuckers? Let's racial fucking profile, then. Name a fucking mass murderer who happened to not be white. I'll wait. I can't. How many fucking pedophiles get caught that happen to be white? But we're so fucking innocent, right? Bullshit. Mm-hmm. So if we're going to fucking racial profile, then let's fucking do it across the board. I don't give a fuck what a person dresses like or fucking any of that shit. You don't get to decide what kind of human being they are based on their skin color because you think you fucking know everything. Because you've had any kind of experience. And some of these motherfuckers never even had a bad experience with anybody that isn't white. They just heard shit. Or they've seen one too many fucking movies. You know what I'm saying? Or they fucking live in a sheltered, white, privileged fucking neighborhood where they've never had to experience poverty. They've never had to experience discrimination where they could be qualified for a job, but based on their skin color, they don't get it. So they have to fucking support their family somehow. And if you got to break fucking laws to do that, it's because the law failed you. Period. There's no excuse. The law failed you. The law should be stepping in and saying, no, you don't get to fucking decide not to hire somebody based on what they look like. You don't get to fucking make that decision. If that person's qualified, you give them a fucking chance. If they have no criminal record, you have no fucking leg to stand on looking at their skin color and saying, this motherfucker's gonna rob my store or, you know, fucking whatever the case may be, whatever bullshit white people like to tell themselves. I'm sick of it. As a white fucking person, I am so sick to death of fucking the fact that some people even feel the need to preface everything they say to a black person that they have all these black friends because they're so fucking worried that they're painted with the same brush as white racists. Now you see what it feels like, motherfuckers. Your white privilege is fucking fading a little bit because now you see what it feels like to have to explain to a black person that you have black friends so they don't label you as a racist white piece of shit like other white pieces of shit that happen to be racist. Well, how do you think they feel? When motherfuckers look at them and say, oh, because you're black and you dress a certain way or fucking whatever, that you must be a criminal. You must be a fucking gang or, gang banger or fucking a, a thief or, you know, violent. It's bullshit. Mm-hmm. It's fucking disgusting. So... You see how uncomfortable it makes you fucking as a white person when you feel like you're immediately viewed as racist or you're immediately viewed as you wouldn't get my culture because you're white? It's not a comfortable feeling, is it? Well, how the fuck do you think they feel? How do you think innocent black people feel that, you know, fucking it's not just about your little white opinion, privileged fucking opinion. It's about the fact that there's white cops out there that are looking for an excuse to take a life mm-hmm. and know that they'll get away with it because a bunch of cracker ass motherfuckers that are higher up than them will make sure they don't do time. That's fucking bullshit. It's disgusting. It, it needs to stop. And if you're fucking white and you're not standing up and speaking up, I don't care what your platform is. I don't care if you don't have a platform except for your little circle of friends, start talking to them. Start making it known that you have no place in your life for ignorance. Do something. Because the more people that put their foot down and start fucking containing some shit, the less it can spread and get worse. We need to stand up now and fucking say, as white people, we do give a fuck. Not, oh, it's not my problem. Doesn't affect me. Fuck you. If you feel that way, you're racist. And you just deny it. You you can tell yourself all you want you're not. But if you're not a part of the fucking solution, motherfuckers, guess what? You're just as bad as the fucking problem itself. It's it, You're absolutely right. And that's the thing. People just 
are too preoccupied with their own nonsense that they don't speak up and they just sit there and think, you know, oh, maybe if someone else will take care of it for me. No, change begins with you, begins with me. You know, the thing that gets me, too, is there's going to be people that say, you don't understand. You're white. You don't understand what the black community goes through. And guess what? You're absolutely fucking right. I don't fully understand. And you know why? Because of white fucking privilege. So it exists. But it's on me. It's my responsibility to know it exists and to know that it was thrust upon me just because of the way I was born. That I got that free pass to not have to understand what it's like because I'm not in that situation. But that doesn't mean that it's not my problem. Because if I'm a compassionate fucking human being that cares about other human beings, not color, then it is my problem. It is very much my fucking problem. And to see fellow fucking white people being a part of that problem sickens me just as much as it sickens the black community to see one of their fellow members have their lives taken or threatened or being discriminated against. If you think black people do not have it harder than white people, you're a fucking delusional piece of shit whose head is so far up your own ass, you don't even fucking smell your own white privilege. It exists. It is not a fabrication. It is not a cop-out. It is not any of those things. You cannot hold any single human being, no matter their color, responsible for what another person that just happens to be the same color did. There are shit human beings of all races, and there are great people of all races. You don't get to decide because one person just happened to not be white, broke a fucking law. So fucking what? How many mass ki- Hitler was fucking white. Am I wrong? No. How many fucking... Charles Manson was fucking white. But we don't want to talk about all that now, do we? No. Nope. Because that makes white folks real uncomfortable, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And it's disgusting. So let's instead focus on the shootings because, oh, I bet you they're black. Yeah, except for the mass shootings, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. How come they're all white people that kill innocent motherfuckers rather than two people get into a fucking dispute, someone shoots someone else, and it's a black issue, right? Okay. And how is that worse than fucking some psychotic redneck walking into a fucking mall or an arena and just start opening fire or a high school or wherever? But we don't want to talk about that because the motherfucker was white. So let's ignore that. Let's brush that bitch under the rug, right? It's fucking bullshit. That's white fucking privilege. It'll be on the news for a day. Mm Mm-hmm. One black person loses their life to a fellow black person in a dispute. That shit's on the fucking news like it's every day. All day, every day. Like it just never stops happening. The same fucking... Notice how they perpetuate it. Like it happens all the fucking time when it's the same story being told for weeks. But when one white person fucking... They do what they call due diligence. They air it once. But we don't want to harp on it because the motherfucker was white. He only took, you know, say a hundred lives, whereas this black person shot one other black person and they lost their life. It shows how important that life was to the fucking media, doesn't it? Fucking disgusting. White people commit more fucking crimes than any black community, period. Prove me wrong. So why aren't we talking about that? Why aren't we talking about how fucking whites get away with murder, literally, Look at the cops that fucking a non-white officer accidentally shoots a white woman and he does fucking time. This motherfucker is a white cop who takes a black man's life for no fucking reason while he's defenseless. In a very violent manner, I want to add. He's going to walk. I fucking guarantee it. I guarantee it. All of this fucking, oh, he got fired or arrested or blah, 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 bullshit. It's all for show to appease the community. And guess what? The rioting is because people see through it. We're not fucking stupid. And then you see these videos. Doesn't it suck today's technology? You can't quite get away with the shit that you thought you could fucking cops caught on video smashing their own fucking cruisers to try to make it look like rioters and protesters did it 
What the fuck? Explain that one. Oh, and then my personal favorite, these pieces of shit white cops that fucking know that they're up to no good. Their uh, body cams just so happen to not be active. Hmm. So there's no evidence hmm. of their crimes. Hmm. I smell major bullshit and fucking agendas. When is it going to stop? It's not. Not until more white people stand up and say, white privilege be damned, this ain't right. And I'm going to speak up. And if I'm fucking ridiculed or persecuted for speaking up on behalf of the fucking minorities, then so be it. Fucking let me have it. I will do time if I need to. I don't give a fuck. I will do whatever. I will lose my fucking fame and platform. I will lose my career. I will lose sponsors in a heartbeat. Take it all away from me right now if you so fucking choose and expose yourselves for the racist pieces of shit that you are because you don't like what I have to say. But I will not stop advocating. Period. It's, it's something that needs to be done. It needs to be done. We all need to take responsibility and speak up. If you think it's not your hill to die on, you are just a big part of the problem as the motherfuckers doing the shit. That's it. You're right. The only thing fucking that matches evil is apathy. Turning a blind eye to it like it's not your issue because it's not happening to you. And then when it is happening to you, you just want all nearby witnesses to come to your aid and help you and do something. And when they don't, you can't understand why. That is fucking self-absorbed white privilege at its fucking worst. It is. It, it, it truly is. Like this whole white privilege nonsense, it needs to go. It needs to be uh, eradicated. Seth Rogen's on fucking Twitter. Literally commenting on every piece of shit. When he posted Black Lives Matter, every motherfucker that tries to correct him and tell him all lives matter, he tells him to fuck off. Stop watching my shit. Don't support me. And I commend him for that. That was beautiful what he did there. He didn't care. He he didn't care about his career in that. He stood up for what was right. Somebody else who I'm extremely fucking proud of is Kevin Nash, who also on Twitter called out these fucking pieces of shit racist cops and literally lost followers by the thousands and he said how funny is that they expose themselves as racist pieces of shit good riddance nobody needs them i don't want followers that are racist i don't want fans that are racist i don't want fucking listeners i don't want anything to do with racist fucking scumbags at all I think that's great. Kevin stood up with for that and said, I, I don't care. I don't want to be a part of that because it's wrong. I don't agree with it. I don't support it. It would be irresponsible of me as well to not use my platform when I have hundreds of thousands of fucking listeners to speak on this. If I didn't do this and take time away from the documentary filming and all that other shit to touch on this, then you know what? That's white privilege too. And I have to take ownership of that. I grew up in a place where there was no room for fucking racism or else I was going to have a real fucking problem. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to just sit there and say I'm not racist and then fucking not stand up. Because as you can tell, probably by my voice, I am fired the fuck up over this. So this is not a fabrication or publicity. This is me. I don't need fucking publicity. I'm probably going to lose sponsorship over this shit. So be it. Shove your fucking money up your ass. I don't care. If you're a racist piece of shit, I don't give a fuck if I never work again. So fucking be it. So this goes out to UFC and fucking every sponsor and everyone else. If I'm not going to get any more opportunities because of what I've just said, good fucking riddance. And thank you for exposing yourself. I don't fucking want to work with racists. I don't deal in ignorance. And I will not tolerate it or associate with it, not for my own gain, financially, or any other fucking reason. I don't need that kind of blood money. So shove it up your ass. If you fucking have a problem with what I'm saying, make it known. I think what you're doing is absolutely amazing. You're putting yourself, you're, you know, putting your own career and your own needs aside to do what's the right thing and not too many people are brave enough to do that or 
have the ambition and drive or the passion to do so. I, I'm not looking to get smoke blowing up my ass here. No. I'm doing this because it's the right fucking thing to do and because I mean it. I don't give a fuck if I just blew my whole career. If that's... You know what? Fuck everything I've accomplished. If I fucking lose my opportunities and my career for standing up doing the right thing, that is my motherfucking legacy. And that's more than I could ask for. I don't give a shit if I'm persecuted for standing up and doing what's right and I lose all my fucking accomplishments down the road that I could accomplish and all those opportunities are taken from me and everything that I've accomplished now fucking stops there, so be it. I had a good run. But it will never be as important to me as fucking justice and doing the right thing for those that they have a voice but they're not being heard. And I, for one, think that is probably the most frustrating fucking feeling in the world. Except, maybe, watching your fellow white people turn a blind eye like it's not their fucking issue. You're a human being, motherfucker. You just happen to be a different color. It is your issue. And if you think otherwise, you are a self-centered piece of shit that thinks the world revolves around you. Or you're a spineless coward that doesn't fucking want to speak up against things because you don't want to fucking get in trouble. You don't want to become the next target. You don't want to know what they go through and what it feels like. I say fucking bring it. You want to fucking target me next and lump me in because I'm standing up for them? So be it! Do it. I look forward to it. But you're not going to silence me. I will not be bought off. I will not be fucking paid to shut up. And I will not have my career dangled over my fucking head until I comply and fucking turn a blind eye to racism and fucking injustice and bullshit. I don't give a fuck what someone's skin color is. That man has a family that he will never get to fucking come home to again. Then they will never get to see him again and they are destroyed. And as a human being, that fucking breaks my goddamn heart. I know a thing or two about loss. I think people are quite fucking aware of that. But at least with my loss, I can't even say I understand how injustice was a part of that loss. Or a cause of it. But I know a fucking thing or two about it. So I can understand, for the most part, the grief side of what his family is going through. But I can only imagine the motherfucking anger behind it. And it's all justifiable. The anger is justified. They have every right to be fucking angry and pissed off. Because this has gone on too damn long. And no matter how you try to dress it up, it still exists. Try to make it as subtle as you want. Try to cover it up. And make it look like it's it's a fucking rare thing. Motherfucker, it is far from rare. It is fucking far from done. And it's going to stay that way until more people that are not fucking black or are not a minority stand up and say, you know what? I'm not going to be a part of this. But I am going to be a part of what fucking stops it. Even if it takes the rest of my life, I will keep fighting for it. But I will never sit back and say, well... Good thing for white privilege, I don't have to fucking get involved. It's not my fight. You're fucking right it's your fight. If you actually care about human beings. If you actually don't see color, then it is your fucking fight. But if you just say you don't see color, and then you say, well, this ain't my issue because I'm not black. Motherfucker, you just expose yourself. You see color. Especially when it benefits you. Laziness and fucking apathy... Not caring at all about something that's wrong makes you every bit a part of the problem as the motherfuckers doing it. It's, it's a amazing, it's just insanity, this whole issue and that and what's going on in the world and how we've gone centuries this way and we still don't do anything about it. You know what's really disheartening is that people are acting like this is a new thing. It's not. That's the thing. It's been around for centuries. And motherfuckers want to act like this is just all because of one incident. No. It's not. And I actually, you know, I saw on my own uh, Facebook, one of my friends shared a post. And it was was sad. It was the last words that innocent black lives said before their lives were selfishly taken. And the things they said, it was just like, you know... 
why and you know i'm i'm going to college and that like these were people that had aspirations to do better and were innocent had families and were loved and they were just selfishly taken away but somebody irresponsibly put a badge on a racist fucking redneck piece of shit and let him loose with a fucking weapon and some authority that is so fucking irresponsible I would not lose a whole fucking wink of sleep if that motherfucker gets shanked or fucking something happens to him in retaliation for what he did, eye for an eye. I wouldn't lose sleep either. I feel like it was more than deserved. You give what you receive. Well, the judicial system's obviously not going to fucking do anything about it. Let's be real. And if anyone thinks otherwise, come on now. Give your head a shake. That's that white privilege again. That's that fucking excuse you tell yourself. Well, let the cops do their job. Let the let the fucking judges do their job. Let the courts and the judicial system do their job, and I'll stay out of it. Fuck that. You obviously, if you feel that way, you're either complacent, ignorant, racist, in fucking, you know, a closet racist, essentially, or you haven't really been paying much fucking attention to the way the judicial system works when it comes to fucking white cops. Why is it that a white person will get a much lesser charge than a black person? Favoritism. No shit. Especially when you put a badge on the piece of shit. Mm Mm-hmm. It's fucking disgusting. It is. And it just makes me so fucking sad we live in this world. This piece of shit that took this man's life had fucking 11 or 12 other incidents under his belt of brutality and fucking shooting people. And here's the thing. I just want to add to that. He, why the fuck did he get away with that for so long? Because he's white. And that's just wrong. You know, if that was a black cop, let's say, first offense, gone. Of course. He'd be in fucking prison to this day. Yeah. First offense. But no, it took, you said 11? 11 or 12. 11 or 12. And I, now. I've read them all. Yeah. And, and now, because of what's happened, they're like, okay, we need to show that we give a shit when they really don't yes they're making it look good it's all a fucking display to try to appease the people that are fucking outraged but we both know how it's going to play out they're going to drag this out and tell people calm down and then they're going to let this piece of shit walk or they're going to give him a fucking slap on the wrist to not spark all of this over again but let's be honest this is how they do things oh well the courts are all backed up so we're going to drag this out no motherfucker you're stalling and tell people calm down so they don't riot even further when they see what the fucking courts do to favor this piece of scumbag shit. I hope he fucking rots. I do too. I hope he gets what's really deserved to him. He's a disgusting human being and his racism is showing. Big time. Yeah, uh, you know, every fucking time he's encountered somebody who's not white, his racism shows. And I want to see pieces like of shit like that fucking do hard time and fucking not be protected. I agree with you 110%. You look at all the worst offenders. Look at that Paul Bernardo piece of shit. Oh, my God. Fucking protected his whole fucking sentence. If he was black, he would have been shanked in the fucking shower day one and no one would even care. It'd be business as usual. So let's not pretend that that isn't the truth. Let's not pretend that that shit doesn't happen. Let's not fucking lie to ourselves as white people and say it's equal. It's it, not. It's not. It's never been equal, and it fucking may never be unless we stand up and say this ain't right. So that's what I'm fucking doing. And it's not going to make much of a difference. I'm aware of that. So you can call it virtue signaling and trying to make myself look good all you fucking want. Go fuck yourself if that's what you really think. I'm aware that this ain't going to make much fucking difference, but it's a start. And if more people that happen to not be black or a minority speak up, then guess what? We'll at least be fucking heard because we're white. It's part of our white privilege. When we speak, it's heard. Even if it's not something they want to hear, at least they listen. And if you have a voice that will be heard and you're not fucking saying what needs to be said, that you won't tolerate this shit, then you're a part of the problem as well. And shame on you. 
I don't have much else to fucking say. I'm going to keep this short so motherfuckers listen to it. Because if you go on too long, then you, they're going to miss the point and not fucking listen to a full hour. So let's just end this now. Mm-hmm. I think that everything that needed to be said has been addressed. Every fucking person I know that's white and anyone I don't know that's white, if you really fucking truly believe that you're not racist, now's the time to prove it. Stand up and speak up. I don't give a fuck. And don't give me that fucking, well, I posted a black screen bullshit on social media, so I did my part. Fuck that bullshit. That's nothing. It's not enough. That's all a fucking image. And I don't fucking like it. I didn't do it because it's bullshit. I would rather use my platform and do something productive than try to make people on my Facebook friends list think that I'm not a fucking racist scumbag. If they don't fucking know me enough to know I'm not racist... They're not your friends. Then they're not fucking even deserving to be on my list. I don't need a little black screen and fucking empty gesture. Y'all should be fucking ashamed of yourselves if if that's all you've fucking done to speak on this and to stand up. It's pitiful. You're fucking disingenuous and you're lying to yourselves. It's going to take a lot more than a black screen on social fucking media to make a difference. And if you think that's your big contribution and there's nothing more out of that that you can do, that's fucking sad. That really fucking bothers me and this ain't some speech about how i'm better than anybody this is a speech about how we all need to do better myself included i should speak on this shit at least once every fucking few days until someone gets the point this isn't just about one incident this is about fucking constantly being sick of hearing this shit and the division between people because of the mistakes of some We blame all fucking people. Because one person that breaks a law happens to be fucking black. Motherfuckers want to paint the entire black community with that brush. But then are the first to say, well, just because the cop was white doesn't mean we're all racist scumbags. It doesn't work that way, motherfuckers. You don't get to do that. You don't get to decide that it fucking is a double standard. That's not the way things work. That is not fairness. And you want to talk about equality and fairness, you obviously don't know the fucking meaning of the words. Smarten the fuck up, people. Especially if you're white. Use that white privilege of yours for something fucking non-selfish and productive. You got something to add to that before we wrap this up? I think you covered it beautifully. Just be a better person and do what's right. That's all I got to say. Don't fucking give me that shit either about, well, you're you're in Canada, so you don't fucking get it. And you're white, so you don't get it. You're fucking right, motherfucker. I'm white. I don't fully get it because I haven't lived it because I have white fucking privilege based on how I was born. But Canada has its fucking racism too. Don't kid yourself. Maybe they just hide it better here. I don't know. But it fucking exists. Maybe it just doesn't get the media attention that it does in the U.S., But don't try to fucking say that the U.S. is so much worse and tell yourself, oh, that's a U.S. problem. No, motherfucker, that's a white people problem. Privilege. It's a fucking issue. Deal with it. Do something about it and stop it. Don't fucking use where you live and location as an excuse as to why it's not your problem. It is your problem. You're a fucking living, breathing human being. It is your problem because if it happened to you, you know how you'd feel about it. Exactly. You would want people to speak up for you. Exactly. So fucking do the right thing. Amen. We done here? I think so. All right. I don't have any more to say about this. I could go on all fucking day and just get more fired up over it. But I think I've made my point. I hope to see more white fucking people speaking up and saying enough of this shit. And stand along the front lines with the black community that doesn't deserve this shit. And do your part. And fucking show this is not a black problem anymore. It never was. It never should have been. No. This is a human race problem. And we should all be disgusted. I'll catch your asses later, man. Try to fucking make a change. Try to do something. We ain't gonna change the fucking world single-handedly. But let's all fucking contribute. And get to where the world should be. Without racism. Building a fucking wall starts with one brick. So let's do something. I'll catch your asses later. See you next time. Find your